Today, we are going to be balancing the equation of potassium oxide, K2O, plus water, which is H2O, and that will yield us potassium hydroxide, KOH. I already wrote out a chart for us and the elements that I see that are the same on the left and the right side. All we have to do is just write how many we have, and then we'll start the balancing. So let's start from the left-hand side. For potassium, which is K, I have two of these, so I'm going to put a 2 for the potassium. Now, be careful. For the oxygen, there is oxygen here and here on the left-hand side. I have one oxygen because I didn't see any subscript, and the same thing goes for this one. There was no subscript, so that means it's one. There's literally a plus sign here, so one plus one is two total oxygens. And then coming back to the hydrogen, I see that I have two here, so I'm just going to put a two for the hydrogen. Going to the right-hand side, I don't see any subscripts at all. So for the potassium, I have one. For the oxygen, I have one. And for the hydrogen, I have one. Pick the one that's easiest to balance first, but they're, they're all two, 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 and one, one, one. But let's just balance the potassium first. Always start from the lowest number and go to the higher number by multiplication. 1 times what will get you to 2? 1 times 2. That number that you stated is the coefficient of the element that you're trying to solve for, or balance. I'm going to put a 2 here. But when you add a coefficient to a compound, you have to be fair, and it gets distributed between all of those elements. So just like we said that we had 2 potassium, 2 times 1 oxygen, I now have 2 oxygens, and I also have two hydrogens. And look at that. Just by balancing one element, we actually balance them all. So now the equation is balanced. The balanced equation would be 1 K2O plus 1 H2O, which will yield us two KOHs. And that's it. If this video helped, press the like button and let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. If you want, you can press the subscribe button, which will help us out tremendously. Thank you so much for that. And I hope you guys do well on your future tests and quizzes. I will see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.